What's up, crypto family? Welcome to another review episode, and today we are going to be talking about an AI platform called Dbrain. What I wanted to do was uh, just quickly tell you guys, this is a sponsored video from them. They reached out to me, they wanted me to do a review, and I love the concept of an AI-powered ecosystem to help people develop apps, to help businesses develop apps, and tokenizing the whole thing. So without further ado, let's dive right into the review. So there are a few things that I wanted to go through uh, about the kind of overall D-Brain concept. Um, I, I guess the simplest way to approach this is uh, I have their white paper pulled up, but I want to kind of go through just the the main points of their website right now. 80% of AI is data. Data sets for machine learning are still labeled by hand and required a lot of effort. We provide a simple tool for crowd workers and data scientists to turn real or turn into real world AI solutions. So um, if you go down here and you see that uh, they've got some press coverage, which is good, so, you know, TechCrunch, Inc. And I wanted to show you guys the ecosystem. So this is kind of the flow of how their tokens will, will work or their blockchain protocols. And essentially data owners, like raw data, people that are um, submitting data to basically train these neural networks to learn um, and use AI, they upload their data and they host it on the DBrain platform which I do know a couple data scientists and um, you know providing hosting for all of their data is actually a value proposition on its own. So if you go to the next step, we have data set as uh, they have to label it. And what was said earlier on their on their main main headline was that data sets need to be labeled by hand right now. Some people argue that it's important to label by hand so that you don't miss anything. Each of these is basically a business almost on its own, um, but I do think that adding a token to distribute amongst the people involved in each one of these steps um, is actually really exciting. And me personally knowing a lot of data scientists in Silicon Valley here, this type of this hosting and just overall access to monetizing your data and you know overall data scientists' abilities is pretty cool. Uh, I think it is. <clears throat> but we go on to the next step here, and that's where data scientists actually train the neural networks with the data that was labeled, uploaded, um, and they can create AI apps. And that leads to the final step, which is effectively monetizing that with businesses. They can use existing solutions, or they can re request new models from the data scientists. I can assume that um, businesses and the data scientists are interacting with tokens consistently. These kind of uploaders and um, you know the platform is, is probably has a little bit of a network effect there with going back and forth with tokens. But I, I do like the concept of each of these being different kind of segments of people. Like um, you have your businesses, you have your data scientists, you have your platform, and you have your data owners all three people coming around the dbrain platform i think is is pretty cool so this piece here new job opportunity for two plus billion unbanked people this is an ongoing kind of argument in the the space that there are two billion people that don't have any sort of uh banking system to that they're in which i think is is a big important problem to go after we connect Exploding AI demand and human labeled data with an abundant global supply of online workers. We reached 2 billion unbanked people in low wage countries to give their income streams in crypto and reduce labeling costs. Yeah, so they are saying here their, their target demographic and their target audience. Um, the people that they're trying to lift up um, is the unbanked, which I've heard that argument a lot over the past a uh, few years even everybody's kind of going after this even mark zuckerberg is going after the unbanked um, a lot of people are really interested in that two billion figure 
And as you can see, when you go through their team, their core team, uh, they have a lot of AI experience here. You know, Data Geek, <laughs> Dimitri, Alexi. Um, this is just a pretty, pretty all-star team, in my opinion. I do think that um, the advisors, I haven't really heard of any of the advisors, but I do know that, um, you know, at least the companies that they've worked for, and I've seen him on Twitter a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm not that familiar with some of these advisors. The platform is pretty straightforward, as I've said. Uh, it looks like they have, um, it's an open blockchain platform turning raw data into real AI solutions. This is a white paper, by the way. Uh, actually, a pretty good white paper. <laughs> it goes through the roadmap. Um, Q3 2017 is over. They assembled the team. Private seed round for 2.5 million, which is really exciting that they did that. Q1 2018, they have their alpha coming out. That was on the homepage up at the top. Uh, Q2 public beta, training neural networks, um, just to kind of get it out there. Dbrain coin, so they're going to actually be, you know, listing after their coin sale, which is very, uh, pretty straightforward. Launch a fully running blockchain platform, building AI apps and integration to API businesses. So that, this is when the businesses are actually coming in. I like the fact that they have a business model that they're thinking about that is important because you can't rely solely on this uh, trading and transaction volume. Similar to Bitcoin, you can't do that now just with the sheer quantity of coins out there. In Q4, I like that they kept it short just to 2018. Um, I, I do think that I've said in the past videos that, you know, all of these people that, um, you know, do five year roadmaps, I don't want to see that. I just want to see the next 12 months and what it looks like. Um, scaling platform to meet needs to market. Yep. So essentially test, build, learn right here, <laughs> right here in the Q, Q1 through Q4. That does it for my quick overview of Dbrain. I do really like the concept of how businesses are interacting with data scientists, trying to change that um, all with the common interest or common goal of reaching the unbanked. With 2 billion people without bank accounts and without the access to a bank account, um, I have, as I said, heard a lot of people trying to go after the unbanked. And I do think that Dbrain you know, given they raised their 2.5 million uh, as a seed round in the last quarter, 2017, I think that they are definitely positioned. Uh, they have the international approach, love that. Um, I do think that the 12 month roadmap is important and I'm excited to follow this. Uh, as I said before, I'm gonna be putting everything in the description below so you guys can go check them out. They are having their presale coming up uh, so, you know, I'll put the links down, as I said, to Dbrain so you guys can do your own research. I don't like to do any sort of financial advice. I just like to talk about the projects that I'm interested in and I'm happy that they reached out to me. And I'm also happy that you're watching this. So if you like this video, subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you guys on the next episode of Hacktroid Crypto.